Okay. So we have here. Let's continue. Earth's surface. Okay. Let's have a review about what Earth's surface is. Can you please read Lee? What is Earth's surface? The outer, the outer layer of the Earth is called the crust. Mm. It is made of many pieces called tectonic plates, mm. which fit into the giant or shape jig show. Mm. Tectonic plates move very slowly, just a mm. few each year okay very good so what do you call the outer layer of the earthly it's called a crust yes so the crust has many pieces we have we have um tectonic plates okay can you describe what tectonic plate is yeah. i think Tectonic plates is um, is um, um giant is giant ball shape jigsaw. Okay, so tectonic plate it's it looks like a very big ball shaped jigsaw. Okay, and it moves very slow. It moves very slowly, just a few centimeters each year. So that's why in our Earth's surface, if there's a problem with the, the outer layer, the crust, which has the tectonic plates, the tectonic plates that move slowly, if there will be some problem with the folds there, with if there will be what we call fluff, faults which we will um, later study then that will cause what that will cause earth uh, earthquake yes that will cause earthquake so have you happened to experience earthquake lee uh, uh, very common along the dam and andres Found a part uh -huh. of the ring in California. Okay, okay. Many volcanoes are found on the ring of fire, and earthquakes are very common along San Andreas Fault. So, San Andreas Fault is it's part of what the ring of fire in in California. In California, yes. So, oh, how about the tectonic plates? Can you please um, read this illustration? Tectonic plates meet at play boundaries. Okay, so we have here some key. Okay, we have here what we call plate boundary. Okay, there are plate boundaries with the tectonic plates. Okay, you see the illustration here, they have the boundaries. Okay, tectonic plates boundaries okay okay these are their boundaries and we have what we call the ring of fire okay the ring of fire and the volcano okay so that's the the key word there you see here in the illustration lee okay going back okay we have here the boundaries the plate boundaries the ring of fire the volcano Okay, that's it. So once there is a volcano, for sure, what will happen? There will be a possibility of volcanic eruption, if ever th there would be a problem that will occur, or a natural disaster. So we have here Earth's tectonic plates. Can you please read, Lee? Um, Earth's tectonic plates. Earth's hmm. surf has seven giant tectonic plates and several smaller ones. The largest plate is below the Pacific Ocean. Hmm. It covers more than one-fifth of the Earth. 
Okay, very good. So Earth's surface has seven giant tectonic plates and several smaller plates. Okay, smaller ones. So we have here largest plate. The largest plate is found below what, Lee? Below the? Below the Pacific Ocean. Yes, below the Pacific Ocean, there is where lies the largest plate. Or there, um, in there, we can find the largest plate below the below the Pacific Ocean, and it covers more than one fifth of the Earth. We have here what we call the Ring of Fire. Can you please read, Lee? Ring of Fire, volcanic eruptions, an earthquake are common at the place boundaries around the Pacific Ocean. It is known as the Ring of Fire. Okay, yes, very good. So, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are common at the plate boundaries. So, imagine, um, um, here are the plate boundaries. Okay, boundaries, boundaries. Within that, it's very common that there will be volcanic eruptions, especially if there's a ring of fire in the volcano. So if if there is an, a volcanic eruption okay, around the plate boundaries, this is known as what? Ring of? Ring of fire. Yes, ring of fire. And that will blow lava. And, and then after that, it will become a dust or there will be many dust all, all around. Okay. So in, in the Philippines, especially in Bicol, I don't know if you know where Bicol is, but for sure you don't. <laughs> Let me just show you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Volcanoes in, in the Philippines. I'll just show you some vo volcanoes in the Philippines. Okay. So we have here dormant, some dormant volcanoes, active volcanoes. See that? Mm, there are smokes. So that is very common, especially in the Philippines, because there are many volcanoes here. We have mountains also. Can you please read? What is the Himalaya? Lee? Uh, the he Himalayas are a mountain range. Himalayas, range rather. In Asia, at the boundary between two tectonic plates, the rain mm. form over million years as the plates push into each other, forcing mm. the ground up. The mountains mm. are open by about about one fifth one one fifth in every year. Okay, one fifth in five millimeters, can you say it? One fifth in five millimeters every year. One fifth in five millimeters. Mm, millimeters. Millimeters every year. Very good, Lee. Okay, so that is just an um, a brief a brief illustration or information about the Earth's surface. So that's what happened to the Earth's surface. The crust, okay, the outer layer of the Earth, that, that can happen. I mean, there can happen, there can, there will be, or it might be that there will be some natural disasters, just like earthquake, okay, um, ring of fire, volcanic eruption, okay, and we also have uh, mountains also okay so th they consist or they are in the outer part of the earth or in the earth's surface now let's proceed to earthquakes before we proceed in this topic i want you to watch this video firstly What's the best way to learn anatomy and physiology? It's CanHub. Sorry, Let me show you. CanHub videos make anatomy and physiology come alive. Quizzes test your skills like a friendly duel. And our complete articles. <laughs> 
what is an earthquake would you be surprised to learn that several million earthquakes happen every year seriously most are so small in magnitude or size that we cannot even feel them in fact only 20 earthquakes are officially reported each year in the United States Geological Survey. Wow, that is a huge difference. The Earth has four major layers, inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. Think of the crust and top of the mantle like the skin of the Earth. This skin is made up of different pieces of rock called tectonic plates. There are about 15 major slabs that join together, kind of like a puzzle. The edges around the tectonic plates are called plate boundaries. These massive pieces of rock slide back and forth under the Earth's surface, bumping up against each other and creating a lot of tension. This tension and movement create faults which are basically huge cracks in the rock. When the faults get stuck, they build up pressure. And when they get unstuck, you guessed it, an earthquake. So basically, an earthquake is caused by the shifting and sliding of tectonic plates on the Earth's upper mantle and crust. There are three ways that tectonic plates shift or slide. They are subduction, lateral sliding, and spreading. Subduction happens when plates crash into each other. This can cause one plate to slide under another and be destroyed. Or the edges of the plate may rise up and form mountains. Lateral sliding means that the plates slide alongside each other, which can create lots of friction. And like you might have guessed, Spreading happens when plates move apart from each other. When they do, melted rock between the plates rises and cools, forming new crust. Here's an interesting fact. Nearly 90% of all earthquakes begin in the Pacific Ocean in an area called the Ring of Fire. It's called the Ring of Fire because along with earthquakes, it's filled with many active volcanoes more than 450. Earthquakes can be powerful enough to change the surface of the earth and can do a lot of damage. And sometimes earthquakes can even cause other natural disasters like avalanches, landslides, and tsunamis. Pretty wild, right? The epicenter is the location of an earthquake on the earth's surface. The closer you are to the epicenter, the more of the earthquake you will feel. Earthquakes lose intensity as they travel away from the epicenter. Scientists measure the intensity of an earthquake using a special device called a seismograph. Seismometers detect and measure the vibrations given off by an earthquake. Magnitude is the number given to record the size of an earthquake. For example, a magnitude 5.5 is considered moderate. Above 8.0 is considered a major earthquake, and we see one every year or two. Earthquakes measured at 2.5 or less are usually not felt, but can be recorded. And believe it or not, there are millions that happen each year. You can make a model of a seismograph at home and we are going to show you how. It's activity time. You can print off directions for this one on our website at Learn and a friend because this is an act. This is exactly what a seismograph does during an earthquake. So in a way, we have not only created our own seismograph, but our own earthquake as well. Now we can analyze the data just like scientists. Can you tell how hard the box was shaking based on the line? Can you tell when it was barely shaking at all? You are on your way to becoming a seismologist. A seismologist is a person that studies earthquakes.
It's pretty cool to watch the process, but it's even more exciting to do it yourself. You can head on over to our website. Okay. We... Okay, let's go back. So, in the video, it tells us a lot about earthquake. Why does earthquake happen? Okay, and it also tells us what are those things that we can use to detect earthquake and some other tools or devices. So, we have here, what causes an earthquake? What causes an earthquake, Lee? Um, uh, an earthquake happens when two huge areas of the ground shake past one another, making the ground shake. Mm. The crack between them is called salt. Yes, this is what I mentioned earlier, that if there will be areas of the ground that are shaking, that are sliding or cracking, there will be what we call fault, okay? So that will cause the earthquake. What do you mean by a fault? What is a fault, Lee? Uh, a fault is a crack in the rock that from the earth rocks. Exactly. So let me just ha make it simple. It's a crack in the rocks. Okay, you see the cracks there. That is a fault. It is coming from the earth's crust. So just like what the video says, Earthquake can be very damaging and it can kill people also. So look how can earth look how just an earthquake. I mean not just but just imagine how chaotic or how a great damage earthquake can bring to the world and to the people. So we have here, can you please read Lee, the point on the ground? The point on the ground directly hmm. above and the earthquake start is called the um, epicenter. Yes. Okay. The point on the ground, okay, there's an illustration here. The point on the ground directly above where the earthquake starts is called the epicenter. Okay. That is called the epicenter. So when you say fault, again, it's a crack. When you say epicenter, it's what? It's the point on the ground above the earthquake where it starts. That is the epicenter. Okay. And can you please read Lee, the ground? The ground on either side of the fault moves in opposite direction. Yes, the ground on either side of the fault they move in opposite directions. Okay, that's why it's like that. It's shaking because they move in opposite directions. Okay, and how about here? The point in the ground. The point in the ground where the earthquake starts is for the focus. Yes, so this is the focus. Look clearly in the illustration. Okay. This is the focus, the point on the ground where the earthquake begins, it's called the focus. Oh, that's a, a good trivia. So we have here earthquake, earthquake waves travel. Tra uh, earthquake waves travel fast, our work, our work, you know, that mm. in all directions, making the mm. ground shake. Yes, yes. So earthquake waves travel very fast outward in all directions. That's why the ground is shaking. Ha, ha, is there an earthquake in Vietnam also? Is there a, an earthquake uh, that yeah. happens in Vietnam? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, have you experienced this one that you hide somewhere because there is an earthquake? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you please read San Andreas Fault? San Andreas Fault. The San Andreas, Andreas Fault is a large crack, crack, mm. crack in the ground that lies mm. through California. It yes. marks the bond between two huge pieces on the mm. earth's crust called place. 
mm. big earthquakes been on the fault about every 10 years. Okay, so this is what we call San Andreas Fault in California. Okay, so if you look at the illustration here, you can see that there's a large crack in the ground. And it says there, it, mar it says here, it marks the join between two huge pieces of the Earth's crust called plates. So in this place in California, San, it's called San Andreas Fault. It's because in this place in California, earthquake um, usually, or yeah, earthquake is commonly happening. The um, earthquakes happen on, on the fault about how many years? Every? Every 10 years. Yes, every 10 years in this place, in the San Andrea, Calif in San Andrea, California, San, Andrea, San Andreas Fault. About every, I mean, every 10 years, there is an earthquake that occurs. So that's very scary. It's very scary to stay there. Okay, giant waves. Can you please read, Lee? Giant waves. The biggest earthquakes happen under the sea. They make the sea burst upward, forming danger, dangerous giant waves known as tsunamis. Okay, very good, very good, Lee. So, giant waves, when you say giant, it's what we call what? The? The biggest earthquake. Yes, it's the biggest earthquake that happens where? Uh, under the sea. Yes, and this is very scary, Lee, because when, when we say earthquake, it's just on the land, right? On the on the faults of the ground shaking, on the lands are cracking. But this is the worst one. If it involves the water part, the giant waves under the sea. Okay, just imagine um, earthquakes. If earthquakes or the biggest earthquakes occurs under the sea, like the giant waves, what will happen? It forms what? It's from dangerous giant mm. waves, not mm. as me. Yes, that's why I'm feeling, you know, cringe in this lesson. <laughs> because I can just imagine. Just imagine, Lee, just open your imagination. Okay, if if um fault lines are occurring on the on the grounds okay and it's already slide sliding it's already shaking it's already cracking and all this and all that and under the sea there's also an earthquake okay so in, in the same way it there's an earthquake so the waves are crashing the waves are giant waves and it becomes tsunami Oh, and it's a large, large body of water that can destroy lots of people and um, damage a certain place as in general. So that's how crazy earthquake can do. And what does it say here? Uh, waves can be taller than you. Yes, that's why you know you know about tsunami, right? Lee, is there a tsunami that happens in Vietnam or no, there's none? Uh, I think it's not. No. Yeah, yeah, but in the Philippines, it happened. It happened, I think it happened in the Philippines, yes. And in Vietnam, uh, no, not in Vietnam, sorry. In Japan, it's very common. So waves or tsunamis, the, the, the giant waves can be what? Can be? Can be taller. Than taller. Yeah, it can be taller than buildings. That's why it's very scary. And what can earthquake do? It pushes the... When there's an earthquake, it pushes the... Pushes the sea, sea, sea bed up. Okay, so really, but it's already time. I would like to say thank you for your participation and cooperation for our lesson tonight. This will be my reward for you. Ta ding 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 Oop. Thank you so much for tonight, Lee. I hope you have a great night. Take care always. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.